वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन शूज बायोलॉजी टूडे वी से अबाउट अ सेरिकल्चर सो वॉट इज मीन बाय द सेरिकल्चर सेरिकल्चर मीन्स द कल्चरिंग ऑफ अ सिल्क वर्म फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिल्क द कल्चरिंग ऑफ अ सिल्क वर्म फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिल्क वी नो दैट द सिल्क इज अ क्वीन ऑफ टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री सिल्क इज द क्वीन ऑफ टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री Due to its property, like the light in weight, soft in touch, high durability, high absorbance, etc., silk is a natural fiber and it is a proteinous in nature, and it is made up from the fibrin, fiber, and sericin. This is the composition of the silk. Fibrin, fiber, and a sericin. Sericulture is an agro-based industry with a low investment. We get a more benefit. And the China is the largest producer of the silk throughout the world. And followed by the China, the second most rank. India is the second most largest producer of the silk. Then. we see the two types of the silk and that is the mulberry silk and a non mulberry silk silk two types of the silk that is the mulberry silk and non mulberry silk mulberry silk means those silk worm is feeding on the only mulberry leaves it is the mulberry silk and in a way the silkworm is feeding on the other than the mulberry silk uh, mulberry leaves like the castor leaves or the sow leaves etc the tassar silk worm then irai silk worm muga silk worm these are the non mulberry silk worms and the mulberry silk worm is the bombex mora so we say about the mulberry silk worm that is the bombex mora systematic position of the Bombex morae. Systematic, systematic position of bombex morae. The phylum, then class, order. then the family then genus and last one is the species so phylum is the arthropoda phylum is a arthropoda it because it having a jointed limbs and the body is divided into the three parts and that is the head thorax and the abdomen then next one is the class class is the insecta because the all the insects all the invertebrates that having those are the hexapods the invertebrates those are the hexapods they are included in the class insecta hexapods means the six legs means the three pair of the legs are present then the order order is the lepidoptera lepidoptera we know that the butterflies and moths are come in the order that is the lepidoptera so this silkworm adult is the moth means definitely this moth is included in the order lepidoptera then the family is the bombycidae family is the bombycidae then the genus is the bombax and the species is the mora and this is for the lineages so keep in mind one thing and that is the uh, genus and the species genus first letter of the genus should be written in the capital form and the first letter of the species always written in the small form this is the rules and regulation of the binomial nomenclature and friends 
during this writing, we are written this uh, binomial nomenclature or the scientific names in the italic form. But when uh, they are handwritten, they underline it. Then we see the morphology of the Bombex mori. The life various life stages of the uh, Bombex mori that is the egg, larva, pupa and adult. And uh, we see about the morphology of this life stages of Bombex mori. So first of all, we know that the morphology, uh, the difference between the morphology and the anatomy. Anatomy means the study of the internal structure and the morphology means the study of the external structures. So, we say about the external morphology of the life stages of Bombax mori. We know that the Bombax mori is a holometabolus. Holometabolus means the, there are a metamorphosis, different types of metamorphosis. Holometabolus, then hemimetabolus and the ametabolus. Holo. Holometabolus means complete metamorphosis. Holo metabolus. Holo. Holo means a complete. Complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis. Means this circum is undergoes the uh, four whole four life stages. That is the egg, then the larvae, then pupa, and then adult. Means this silkworm showing a holometabolous type of metamorphosis means the complete metamorphosis first upon the egg, then larvae, then pupa and then adult. So first upon we see the first, this first stage that is the egg. So structure of, we see the structure of the egg. Egg is a tiny ovoid in shape, spherical in shape like this. Egg having the two ends, that is the one is the anterior end and the another is the posterior end. Like this, this is the anterior end and this is the posterior end. Then, this is the outermost covering, this is the anterior end, this is the posterior end and this is the outermost covering, is called as the chorion. Then, beneath the chorion, there is the one layer and this is called as the vitelline membrane, vitelline membrane. Then here, the nucleus is present and this opening at the opening of the chorion, the one op uh, at the end of the chorion, the one opening is present and that is the micropyle for entering the sperm. Then throughout the this egg at the middle, this yolk is present. This hole is the yolk material. Depending upon this position of the yolk, there is the egg is classified into the different types. That is the central acetal egg, telol acetal egg, etc. Means this yolk is present at the middle or at the center of the egg. Then this egg is called a central acetal egg. And this Bombax mora egg is a central acetal type. Because this yolk is present in between uh, at the middle of this um, egg or the center of the egg. Then uh, we know that suppose this is the cell and this is the suppose this is the other organelles of the cell. Then this is the semi fluid structure is called as the cytoplasm. So this egg is also uh, one of the type of the cell. So it contains the cytoplasm but due to this yolk material the cytoplasm is pushes toward the periphery and this thin layer is called as the periplasm it is the periplasm so this is the outermost covering is called as the chorion 
Beneath the chorion, this is a layer is known as the vitelline membrane. Then at the center, the yolk is present. Due to this, this egg is called as the central recital egg. The nucleus is present. For entering the sperm, micropyle is present, and this is the two ends: the anterior most end, uh, anterior end and the posterior end. So this is a whole about the morphology of egg. In next video, we see about the morphology of larvae and pupa and then adult. So thank you very much.